gastroenteritis is sort of the medical term for what we've come to know as food poisoning or a foodborne illness. In essence, it's the vomiting, it's the diarrhea, and it's sort of a catch-all phrase before the stool cultures come back. Um, or if the stool culture comes back negative and you're still having those symptoms, it's, it's so much easier for a doctor to say, oh, that person has gastroenteritis. It's inflammation of their stomach lining, inflammation of your, your bowels. It is what is most typically understood as you know, the definite signs of a foodborne illness. Gastroenteritis is usually the first step and for most people, it's the only step in a foodborne illness. I mean, the vast majority of people um, don't get sicker. I mean, they're very ill. Um, they may be sick for five or six days. They could have E. coli or Salmonella, Campylobacter, Shigella, all of those bacteria have similar symptoms that a doctor could lump into gastroenteritis. However, as the new CDC statistics show, about 128,000 people will go on to need hospitalization, and it may be for a salmonella illness that has gone septic or E. coli illness that has developed into hemolytic uremic syndrome, uh, which may require much more intervention and dialysis. And then unfortunately, gastroenteritis will lead to the death of some 3,000 Americans every year.